fast-paced fighting, high-flying action, and unbeatable style. All of these things can be found in character action games. The character action genre has consistently produced some of my favorite games of all time, with Nier Automata, Metal Gear Rising, and Bayonetta to name a few. But what makes a character action game different from other games? I wanted to look at one of my favorite character action games and analyze why I think this genre is so special. So let's talk about... Let's rock, baby. The Devil May Cry series has always been known for its dramatic and flourishing style. Whenever I think of Dante fighting, I always imagine an over-the-top cinematic scene that harkens back to fantastical action movies like The Matrix or Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But style isn't the only thing The Devil May Cry has. It's special because of its flawless ability to integrate its stylistic inspirations in every aspect of its game systems. Before we understand Devil May Cry, let's first look at its inspirations and what it's trying to emulate. If we look at some of Devil May Cry's inspirations, we are able to see a common thread that can link them all, and that is style. Characters throughout the martial arts movie genre always perform dynamic and animated fluid movements. Another aspect of those movies was fighting multiple opponents with various types of weapons. Sound familiar? Well, this concept of maintaining momentum and keeping style during combat is something that is definitely reflected in the Devil May Cry games through its gameplay. As you play the game, you collect style by constantly fighting enemies, not being hit, and using a variety of moves. Stop fighting, you lose style. Get hit, you lose style. Use the same move over and over again, you lose style. Style as a mechanic is able to elevate Devil May Cry in both complexity and overall game design. The style bar is present not only while you're playing the game, but also when you finish a level. Each level your stats are compiled and then you are given a style ranking from SSS to F. Different components of play are connected to different score ratings. Time, currency collection, and many other parts of play are connected to these grades, which gives the series massive replay potential, and is always pushing the player to keep up momentum and look good doing it. It gives a tangible goal to always push towards when you are playing the game and holds the player accountable for their own skill progression. The primary way you interact with the style system is combat. Using Devil May Cry 3 as an example, when you start a level, you first choose a combat style. Each style of combat provides its own bonuses and ways that can cruise style through gameplay. Trickster style gives Dante a dash that provides invincibility and more movement during combat. This style allows the player to maneuver more and not get hit to build style. Another style called Royal Guard gives a parry that allows Dante to absorb hits from enemies and land a devastating counterattack. With a properly timed button press, you are able to gain massive style points. Each style paired with different weapons provides the player with almost endless choice and variability. Its options are so mechanically deep and varied that they allow the player to individually express themselves through its gameplay. Devil May Cry's combat system rewards speed, maneuverability, and variety. And this system, once mastered, is not only fun and engaging to play, but also visually interesting to watch. Experienced players can bounce from enemy to enemy while constantly changing weapons and styles. Watching a veteran Devil May Cry player almost feels like you are watching an action movie. The game is able to use its layered game mechanics to make the player feel like an action movie character while simultaneously providing engaging and challenging gameplay. Devil May Cry took the concept of style and was able to quantify and magnify it in a way that was never seen before. It took the addicting and satisfying gameplay of arcade hack and slash games and managed to fuse them with the technical depth of fighting games. This series is truly able to replicate the feeling of fighting in a martial arts action movie and breaks the boundaries between game feel and cinematic experience. And at the end of the day, why do any of us play video games? We're all chasing a feeling. We want to feel something that maybe we can't replicate in the real world. An RPG can make you feel like a tactical genius. Racing games make you feel like you are in an adrenaline-fueled high-stakes driver's seat. And character action games can make you feel like a high-flying, badass demon hunter. And it's something that I'm always going to come back to year after year. I'm so excited to play more Devil May Cry, and I hope now you understand why. Thanks for watching. Do you like character action games? And do you like Devil May Cry? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, I want to give a huge shout out to our patrons for supporting us and making all of this possible. And if you want to support OK Beast, make sure to head on over to our Patreon. I have been Ian, and I will see you next time.